the Electronic Frontier Foundation, also known as EFF, has privacy concerns. There are a lot of ways in which this could go very wrong very quickly. New and unexpected threats. We think that it's a serious invasion of our privacy and civil liberties. We're really concerned about the impacts um, to First Amendment rights. The targeting of Asian communities throughout Sacramento. La policía no deben tener el poder de accesar miles de uh, cámaras privadas para conducir vigilancia en tiempo real. We're concerned that there are risks to human rights and personal safety. Bad things are coming and we're very concerned about that. Yeah, yeah, absolutely, because it's not like a normal medical record. Now that Roe versus Wade is overturned, law enforcement could use a woman's personal data to bring criminal charges if they suspect she's received an illegal abortion. Agnet searches on locations that provide abortions and then work backwards to figure out who the people are who went to a particular facility during a particular time frame. Our phones track us. Google tracks us. All of that data is collected and it's sitting somewhere. So what rights do Americans have? The federal level, there's an Electronic Communications Privacy Act called ECPA. There's the Stored Communications Act, which governs emails. There are some protections in place, but they are so out of date. They are decades old. They are not what we need for this moment by a long shot. The Electronic Frontier Foundation says any legislation to that effect will meet with resistance from Google and others. What are some actionable steps? We really need privacy law. Restrict location services on the apps that you're using, or you might just leave your phone off altogether. Now, there are things that companies can do. First, they can make sure that the warrant is, in fact, valid, because they're not always valid at all. Secondly, um, they can decide whether they might want to fight back if there's some legal grounds to do so. Another thing they can do is notify their users. Um, unless there's a gag order, which may have happened in this case. But really, the first thing they need to do is they need to help their users protect themselves. They need to adopt, for example, end-to-end -end encryption. If these companies aren't collecting this personally identifiable data that can be exploited, the problem is solved in all of these cases. Privacy should not be an opt-in model or something that users have to advocate for for themselves. It should just be on by default.